Hello Tim. Right, um, well fundamentally there's one uh, glaringly obvious uh, thing that um, uh, that you may not have picked up on properly. Uh, that, I apologise if it's me explaining it badly. But um, you suggested you uh, in your tweet that uh, you traded the break of the green candle, the low of the green candle, and uh, you may have got in early. Well, you did get in early because categorically, in a short trade, I want to break and close below this previous red candle. So that would make it this bar here. And the reason for that is all I did, because you know, uh, you already know this is a relatively new uh, indicator for me. Um, it, it, it is the um, phenomena, if you like, for want of a better word, of it matching up with the three candle reversal. So, um, and you'll find this happens quite often when you get breaks and closes. Uh, in this instance here, over here. Uh, let's do your example first. So the low, the high, the higher low, the highest high is your part two of the three candle reversal, uh, part one and two rather. And then the third candle is the candle that breaks the low of the first candle. Uh, candle one, candle two, and then candle three will be the third candle. Not, not necessary. you could have three or four candles here with inside bars. As you've got here, you've got two or three candles before you break the low. The low being broken and closed below con uh, um, coincides with the break and close. That's how I worked out this sort of um, uh, phenomena. You'll notice that uh, the entry you suggested, the first break of the green, which was that one, was not did not do a three candle reversal. As I've said just now, this is all new to me. It was just, I matched it up with that three candle reversal. As over here, where you've got the, the gradual decline of the momentum um, to the upside, then you've got the, um, the last green candle, then the next green candle that breaks the high of the last one. If you look carefully, you will see that uh, the penultimate low is this one, high, low, lower, high, lower, low. Once we get the close above that red candle behind the um, that level there, which is this green candle, you'll notice that coincides with the break and close. That's um, how I devise the method. So, you know, when you've got uh, a situation here, whether this one works or not, I haven't even checked. But let's say that one is the closing candle. That's the closing candle there. And lo and behold, there's your penultimate um, high. High, low, lower high, lower low. If we draw the level on there, I'm not sure whether my eyes got that one correct, but if we draw the level on there and we draw the level on the break and close up, there it is there, there it is there. That's your reversal. And that's how I devise these break and closes. Bust up, pull back, break and close. Probably find if I check this one carefully I shouldn't do that really but that one may well be higher. Eight point six five no it's not. Hoorah proved right. Eight point seven, eight point six five and then finally break and close. That's the reversal candle level there. That's the close notice all of these failed to close when it did it went up. So that's the fundamental problem with that. Also, when I'm doing a reversal, I say this many times at my end of day videos and whatnot, the, the, the least I want to see in taking a trade back down is a 30 minute reversal on the uh, color of the RSI bar. So all of these will be green, obviously, on the 30 minute, and I want to see a change of color. So let's get rid of that for the moment. It's unnecessary and we can get rid of that. It's unnecessary. Might as well just while we're here do that quick line there. That, there's the close, there's the break and close below that level there. Okay, so get rid of that now. If I go up to M30, we were green 
before the entry and it is turning red during your potential entry. Um, I can see we've got a break and close down actually, um, you know a three candle reversal, well it's an engulfing reversal there, but we have probably reversed, I didn't check this, up on the M15, yes we were, we were so we needed before a consideration for an entry to the short side at least a 15 minute reversal to the short side which would then potentially put you in a proper swing trend it'd be round about down here even before the 15 minute uh, bar you were still green so that was that was a bad consideration for a short in my opinion the five minute hadn't Again, hadn't done the three candle reversal either. These are all a triple top. Low, high, high, low, high, high. The reason I know that is because this is a second take of this video um, because I got interrupted by someone. So, uh, high, 916, high, 916, and high, 916. So, there's your low, there's your high, there's your higher low, there's your higher high. You need to close below this before you consider entering and I would never really trade on a five minute reversal unless I was really sure that this was overextended and it isn't overextended today of course. Um, so if we move that over to the new candle you'll see that uh, what what's going on here as well. You'll also see how the trend um, I know you had a swing trend, high, low, lower high, lower low, pull back, and you were trading against true resistance, which is good. Resistance acting as uh, a support, rather, true support acting as uh, uh, resistance. Um, had we had the three candle reversal earlier, then yeah, good. Um, all I can say is you're trading into some sort of... Um, support here so you may have used a different method I know you do trade differently to me and you're only using the RSI for the entries so um, yeah you've got a trend in place uh, you would misunderstood what how I do the break and close um, that's just uh, hopefully I've clarified that for you now I really want to be trading with a swing trend that's the whole point of these um, these um, well, that's dropped a lot since I started. Um, yeah, I want to be trading when there's a three swing trend in place, and like in this up move, compared to or compared to your uh, down move there, uh, you would have had all these um, different time frame three candle reversals prior to entering using a one minute trend. So if we look at this by comparison, uh, delete that line. And delete that here now we put a new line in you will have uh, potentially an M15 uh, reversal up that's the M15 reversal level you will potentially have an M30 reversal up there's the reversal level there high low lower high lower low so if you considered entering here after the close of the 30 minute candle might as well do the H1 as well see what that shows us the lowest low over there is way over there so in reality that is the um, M3, H1 high so back to the M1. Now I want to be entering a three candle reversal in the direction of the major trend when it's above the M15 and M30. So uh, I would like to be entering somewhere like um, well no at no point have we had a break and close that I can see unless I'm mistaken we've got the 
falling momentum and at this point here you could you could uh, this is where the three candle reversals um, override the um, break and close you could have considered entering um, if we assume that's the lowest low that's the lowest low rather there after that candle closes above that yellow line there and um, oddly enough it's not broken and closed on that one but it did on the next candle on the one that uh, we're considering entering that's the sort of momentum move I'm looking for so in this instance it didn't um, didn't fulfill all the requirements but when you look back at those two uh, levels there M15 and M30 and I hope I'm not confusing things here um, you can then see these trends and this once again when I talk about swing three, this is the confusing part. Swing one, two, three, how do we know? Well, because we've got our M15 level in there. So we know categorically that at that point there, we could say that is swing three. Then we've got the pullback, swing four, the continuation is swing five, up to that, uh, well, no, past the M30. There was no difference there. But you will also see that if we put the M5 on there. So that's joining the trend over here with, or over here rather, with this massive trend. That um, one of yours, I hope it's clear now, was uh, not, it was over here wasn't it, was not with the prevailing trend. It was just a sort of, um, well it's a pullback trade really, whereas this is a re-entry into the main trend. I hope that's clear. I'm sorry if that's convoluted everyone. Um, I hope that's clarified the break and close, Tim. And um, any problems, give us a shout. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh, I should say again, before I close this, this is new to me. I'm learning. And as with any indicator, I learnt the candlesticks before, this isn't just for you Tim, it's for everyone, and then I added back the indicator, and I hope it's clear from the start, the indicator just corresponds with three candle reversals, which is why I love it so much. Thanks for watching, have a good day.